on my nerves. I have a knack for that. Not anymore. Fingers. on your conscience. Welcome back to the English Fluency Mission YouTube channel with a new English lesson on Spider-Man 2, a Hollywood movie, which was featured in 2004. This is an outstanding movie to get you new English vocabulary and much more. Hi, my name is Gia, and I am your English coach for helping you to be fluent in English with Hollywood movies. So, without further ado, let's jump into the topic. You're getting on my nerves. I have a knack for that. Not anymore. Get on someone's nerves is an idiom. If someone or something gets on your nerves, they make you feel annoyed angry, or nervous. Let's look at a few examples. First, his constant humming is really beginning to get on my nerves. Humming is the present participle form of hum, which means to make continuous sound with low voice. Last, your boring lecture is getting on my nerves. This means the lecture is making me angry. Get on someone's nerve is an idiom, and the nerve is a noun, which has a different meaning. As a noun, nerve means courage or confidence, necessary to do something difficult, unpleasant, or rude. For example, it takes a lot of nerve to be a bomb disposal expert. This means it takes a lot of courage to be a bomb disposal expert. Next, I wanted to ask her out, but I lost my nerve and couldn't go through with it. This means I wanted to ask her to go out with me, but I lost my confidence before asking, and couldn't ask. As a noun, knack means, a skill or an ability to do something easily, and well. For example, I have a knack for remembering faces. Means, it's my quality, that I can remember the faces of those, I see once in a lifetime. Second, she has the knack for making people feel comfortable. Means, she has the skill, to make people feel comfortable in any situation. As a verb, freeze is used to stop someone from moving and keep completely still. If a moving person or animal freezes, it stops suddenly and becomes completely still. For example, freeze, don't move a muscle means someone is asking somebody to stop and not to move a little bit second kate froze in horror when she saw all the blood hold your fire don't follow me as a verb hold means to wait or to stop something temporarily in this clip an officer is asking his fellow officer not to fire let's look at a few examples They've decided to hold all future deliveries until the invoice has been paid. This means a company which is delivering products to another company 
has sent an invoice for previous delivery and receiver company has not paid the invoice and because of this they have decided to stop further deliveries before getting the previous payments next how long can you hold your breath hold as a verb is used in lots of ways with different meanings and situations but here i cannot explain all situations so i told you the sense in which it is used in this clip hand her over of course easy now <sighs> butterfingers Hand something over is a phrasal verb which means to give something to someone. For example, we were ordered to hand over our passports. Next, why should we hand over the money to the Russians? Last, hey that's my special chocolate. Hand it over. As a noun butterfingers means a person who drops things they are carrying or someone who tends to drop things. Let's look at examples. First, she called me Butterfingers as I dropped the cup of tea. Second, I am called Butterfingers by my father as I am used to dropping everything. I am used to dropping means I am habitual of dropping. Hang on! Hang on is a phrasal verb that means to wait for a short time or to hold or continue holding on to something. Let's understand it with a few examples. Sal is on the other phone, would you like to hang on? Here someone is asking the caller to wait. Next. Do you need to poop right now, or can you hang on for a while? Poop as a verb means, to pass solid waste from the body. Last. Hang on tight, it's going to be a very bumpy ride. Bumpy means not smooth. As a verb, stick means to put something somewhere, especially in a not very careful way. For example, first, where shall I put these books? Just stick them on the table for now. Second, she stuck her fingers in her ears so that she couldn't hear the noise. She did not want to hear the noise and to stop hearing the noise, she put her fingers in her ears without caring that it can damage her eardrum. Stuck is past and past participle form of stick. Web as a noun means, a net used to catch insects made by a spider from the sticky thread that its body produces. It is also called a cobweb. Example. First, we watched a spider spin a web between three tall grass stems. The web created by a spider is used to catch insects, and in our life, when somebody is creating a trap for us, then the web can be used as a figurative meaning. Let's understand with an example. Those involved in the fraud created a web of trading companies to hide their activities. Here web of trading companies means lots of companies created in bulk to mislead the business activities. Now you'll have this woman's death on your conscience. <laughs> Conscience is a noun that means a feeling that tells how moral your own actions are and makes you feel guilty about the bad things that you have done. It can also be said as a person's moral sense of right and wrong. For example, every creature of this universe has brain power, but conscience is only given to human beings. Next, my conscience would really bother me if I ate meat. Last, he told the truth for his conscience's sake. You're getting on my nerves. I have a knack for that. Not anymore.
Don't follow me. Of course. Easy now. <laughs> Butterfingers. Your conscience. Oh.